Luck is an interesting thing, isn't it? It was only when I was reading about this today, and I thought, luck is a really interesting yeah. thing. Like, do you believe in luck? What is luck? It's interesting, do Stan... Do lie on luck? I mean, Stan Lee, and I said this before, but Stan, who, as everyone knows, is behind the characters like Spider-Man, is behind Thor, Hulk, mm -hmm. Fantastic Four, you know. Um, but when he was asked what his superpower would be, always it was luck. Mm. Uh, because luck, luck is something you know, we're aware of from a very, very early age, you know, and it's something that stays with us throughout our life. Mm -hmm. And we do have at times the notion of, God, if, if, if I was only a bit more lucky, or if we, and, and this mm -hmm. extends it by saying that it can be controlled. But, but, but the premise behind Lucky Man is that this lucky bracelet that I have... You have wearing, a lucky bracelet? Yeah. Is that the lucky bracelet or one of many? There's only about 5,000 of them. No, no, no. Uh. No, no, this is very special. Uh, you can't get it off, you see. Uh, that's the problem. That's the whole point about it. The whole point of the series is you can't take it off. OK. But no, it comes off pretty So easy. they gave you that to the air end of the... I have office. one. No, they gave me one because I was determined to uh, improve my golf uh, swing. And? and? Didn't work very, very <laughs> successfully, but um, but yes. Yeah, so uh, the the notion of luck for this is that for every bit of good luck the bracelet uh, provides, someone there's a yin and yang to it. There's yes. balance, yeah. and um, and by the time we get to series three, uh, which I think is probably more ambitious and bold and thrilling and visually exciting than than even the other two, um, we go to Hong Kong. Eve, who gave Harry the bracelet in the first place, the torch has been framed for murder. Harry's been sent to Hong Kong with the, the, his cop team to bring her back, but to try and also go to the, mm. the source of these bracelets and try and get it finally taken off him, because he's lost everything in a way because of it. Yeah. Well, it says Harry will be pushed to the very limits, to the darkest depths. He was But will his luck so hold was Jimmy. out? Yeah. Were you under any sort of pressure at all, the Stan Lee and, uh, influence, whatever, to be any more international than... than no, and that was the great thing about it. I mean, I think the very notion of you know, someone of a certain age, like I am, <laughs> the flight way up in it, uh, and also Northern Irish. The idea of, of, of that character inhab in, 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 uh, 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 inhabiting a role, a Marvel role, is, is quite unusual. You know, he's, a, he's a, a very damaged kind of cop. He's had gambling problems. He's lost his wife and his family. He walks a very tight line, very fine line, in, in terms of what side of the law he's on. And yet here he is, Northern Irish and all, playing that Stan Lee character. And I think Stan was very behind that. You know, he's been incredibly supportive. He's, I mean, Stan really is a man of a certain age, but he's... Stan he's, Lee is 95, I, know, I get that, and appears, has a cameo. He's a cameo in every, he's a cameo in every film he does. He's a cameo in, in, in all of these. And he's been incredibly supportive and right across all the scripts. So, um, and I love the idea of that, you know, the incongruity of having Stan Lee uh, against, you know, the old... Um, Korean man. And you filmed that in Hong Kong? <laughs> we filmed that with the first episodes in, Co in Hong Kong. In Cold Rain, you're yeah, quite I was about to say, <laughs> that's series four. Didn't you know, look much like Cold Rain. But no, it was great because it, I mean, I think that really sets the tone. London always played a massive character in, in, yeah. in the series before, and Hong Kong does. And now, of course, when, when, when Harry comes up against his, the biggest and most mm. dangerous arch nemesis he's come across yet, Rupert Henry mm. Jones, fabulous, who plays Samuel Blake, mm. it really sets the tone for what I think is another real yeah. roller coaster. Jimmy, th th this has, you know, it's a big screen look. Yeah. Um, to it, a big screen theme as well, almost, you know, supernatural, superhero, all that mm. sort of thing as well. And you balance that with all the, you know, the British work you would do, the dramatisation stuff that you do, mm. and I know you, there's many other things going on in your life. Mm. Your order book or your diary must be pretty full. Well, it, you know, I mean, there, there's... And there's no irony in this, I say. When I, I've been incredibly lucky myself. I really have been. Never, I left... This is the 30th anniversary year of when, when I left drama school, and I've, I've, I've worked really ever since I left drama school. And so I've been... You know, I, I have been lucky, but, you know, you work hard to be lucky, and I've been lucky that work generates work. It's fair to say that because of where we come from at the time when I left drama school, there was a lot of drama coming out of there because of the, of the backdrop of, of the situation. Um, situation. Situation. Situation, now. <laughs> Who did your first TV interview? Uh, did, did you do it? Yeah, no, you did it at, at, at the Grand Opera House or yes. somewhere like that, I think. And I was it Greece? Oh, yeah, that's right, Greece. You were Danny Zuko or...? I, was, I was playing um, Teen Angel. That's right, I'll see you there. I about, saw that a while ago. What about Cold Feet? I've just finished uh, Series 48, I know, Series <laughs> 8 of it, very excited, and uh, that'll be coming on next year, I think, yeah. Uh, it's so, I think it's fabulous that that's come back, because you see those characters now... And no, I think it's interesting, and I, I think, you know, hopefully we'll do it another, uh, for another year or two, yeah. and then I, I mean, the idea, I think it'll be great to bring it back when we're all 70, if God yeah. spares us, you know what yeah. I mean? Because I think we've all grown up with the characters, and it's good to see where people are Because we're all the stage that age, you know, we're watching, exactly. we're going, well, I wonder what'll happen to us. Yeah, exactly. I'd like to see you when you're 70, I look yeah. forward to that. Well, <laughs> you're going to 
to see him before that. You're going to see him uh, tomorrow night on Sky One, Lucky Man, and it's on at uh, 9 o'clock tomorrow. Good luck with it. Thank and you. Stay lucky, mate.